Hey everybody, welcome to tonight's pour. Tonight's pour is going to be um, a 65 Corvette uh, Hot Wheels. Um, as you can see here, it is, let's see if I can get a good picture of it. It's blue with silver on it, and it does have a little bit of yellowish, goldish flames on the hood. It's a convertible, and so what I, I decided to go with is I'm going to go with the silver background because it has silver on it. And then I was gonna use metallic blue, but it was a little bit lighter blue than what the car is. So I kinda of wanted to match it closer. So I've got a uh, phthalo blue I'm gonna use. Here's the silver I'm gonna use. And then I'm gonna add some or or orange. I'm gonna add some gold to it. So I've got some gold. And then I'll probably add just a little bit of Artist Loft White. The other three brands are the other three are our master touch brands. So all I've got to do is get the canvas level. I have it up here and mix my paints and then we can get started. And no, I'm not a messy person. Well, I am a messy person, but uh, this shirt is my paint shirt, which I probably should wear more. I have it hanging up in there and I always forget to put it on. I had a nice shirt on today, so I decided to do it. But as you can see, I got, I have paint all on it. And so it doesn't matter if I get it stuck in the in the painting or not, which I've done. Um, usually I have my work shirts on, um, which I I probably shouldn't uh, wear those to uh, paint in, but I do. I'm you, getting better at not getting stuff on my shirts. Um, although I did I did uh, I had a dark blue shirt on um, the other night was painting. And it was dark blue um, canvas. I had on the canvas, and it it just basically washed right out. So you did you didn't see it, but it still happens to the best of us. But I thought I had a nice shirt on. I don't want to get any paint on it and ruin that shirt. So I put my paint shirt on. I always forget it's there. So we'll uh, we'll get started and try to keep paint off of ourselves today. Good luck. All right, I have my paints mixed. And it's even level. So, I almost changed my whole idea, concept of this paint painting, but I decided to go back to the what I originally planned. I thought about doing silver and doing the black or the blue and the gold, just streaking it, a swipe, and having it kind of like the cars just going so fast that everything's blurred. But I think I'll try that at some point, but not on this one. So. It was almost another one of those change, change my mind in the middle of the process or at the beginning of the process, but I guess it would be. So for today, my wife and I were on the road for a good part of the day. We were taking the grandkids back. We had them this week. We meet them halfway. And exchange the kids back or give the kids back to them. And about halfway for us. So they live in, they live in Illinois. It's about a three hour drive to their, between our houses. Which isn't too bad, but they still, they, we still split it up. So we, we meet in halfway for us is 
just about halfway. They might have a few more miles to go than us, just 10 miles or so. But it's a good halfway point, but it's in Danville, Indiana is the the town that we meet them in right and they have this restaurant there called the Mayberry Cafe and it is a Andy Griffith themed restaurant and So, you may be wondering what I'm doing here. Um, I don't know if you've noticed, but in, if you've used silver or gold, once you, uh, especially as, as a negative space like this, actually when it dries, it'll dry like that with all these. So it gives a little bit of extra texture to it. But anyway, so we stopped at, we stopped and met. It was actually just uh, their mom, our stepdaughter, our daughter-in-law. I guess it's my stepdaughter-in-law because it's my wife's son's wife. He didn't make it today. He was doing something else at work or something, and so it was just her. So we all ate at the at the Mayberry Cafe in Danville. And it's, uh, they have TVs all over the place and they just show Andy Griffith, Griffith shows, sorry. And, uh, they have really good food there. You know, they name a lot of their, um, like sandwiches or meals from people from the show. So, um, I almost went with, uh, Floyd's catfish sandwich, but I went with a, Aunt B's chicken fried steak dinner. So, but it was fun. We've eaten there a number of times. They have some really cool memorabilia. They used to have, I, well, I think they still have it. They used to have a old sheriff's car that looks like theirs parked out front, but um, it's on a, uh, it's on a, one of the main roads that go through the town. It's highway 36 actually and somebody ran into it so they got it fixed and within a, a week or so somebody else ran into it so it's not sitting in front of the cafe anymore which really stinks because it's really cool to see but uh so we were we drove over there and met them and then drove back so we we were gone most of the day on the road. So, it's nice to get back to a nice quiet house. done that in a while.
trusty old straw. Excuse me. Must be that chicken fried steak. Uh, whew, eating me up here. Excuse me for that. up that gold just a little bit.
So there you go. I think that looks pretty good. So I'm going to leave that like that. And we're going to wait for this bad boy to dry. And then we can get it resin and place the car on it and have another great piece. All right. I've already put the resin on there and spread it out with my hand. Uh, I had a glove on, so you don't get resin in it. But I did that because I was doing another piece at the same time. And I was filming that one for the channel, like I'm filming this one. So I did that one first and finished it before I started on this one. So I wanted to get all the resin on these before. Well, I missed a couple spots. I must have been going pretty fast. Looks like I missed some spots over there. I missed all that there. I think I have some left in here. Because you definitely want to get it all, every surface, the sides. I do the sides and the corners, the edges. I just always want to get a good finish on there. Makes the piece look a lot better. Get my chair situated here so I can get a good glare off the light. Because you want to get these air bubbles out because they really do show when this hardens and finishes off and when it's wet is when you want to get them off because you won't be able to get them out when it's dry at least i've never been able to side because I had to turn the overhead light off as well because there's a glare on it when I film in this particular spot so I can use the lights from the other side of the studio to find these little air bubbles with the lights from it So we have our car, we're ready to put on. Try to find the right spot. Push the wheels in a little bit. And there you have it. 65 Corvette, convertible. Hmm. So if you like this video, please hit the like button. Um, always leave a comment. Uh, I'd love to hear what you guys think of these. And uh, if I'm, how you like the video, if I'm just talking too much, if I need to edit it a little bit better, shorten the, shorten the videos. But... I'm still fairly new at doing this. I don't know if they're too long. It's been a while since I've watched videos on some other people's um, creation videos. I used, I, you know, I did them when, I did watch a lot of them when I was learning. And I, it seems like I watched quite a few that were Most of mine are about 20 or 30 minutes long. 
And I just seem to remember videos out there that I watched that were, you know, 15, 20, 30 minutes long. Didn't seem to bother me, so I don't know if people like that or not. But hit the subscribe button if you want to see more of my content and help support the channel. I'm just getting started, so I'm not, currently I'm not making any money from videos, but it would be nice to be able to do that someday, but um, I just enjoy doing this and sharing, sharing my work, so thanks for watching.